Hello and welcome to Bath and Body Works. Is there anything I can help you look for today? You'd like to look for some new soaps? Fantastic. Well, we just got a whole bunch of different scents in our foaming and gel cleansing soaps in, so there are plenty to have a look at today. Okay, perfect. So would you like me to help you find some suitable scents? Of course, I'm more than happy to. So, this is the display that we just put up today. This features mostly new scents that have been released recently. So, I'll give you a quick glance of them, and if any of them take your fancy, we can have a look at them in closer detail. Okay, so this is our new range here that we have at the top. This is Coffee and Whiskey, Bergamot and Turmeric, Red Cherry and Oud, Basil Leaf and Apple, and Leather and Brandy right over there. Beneath this, we have, let me have a quick look, White Iris and Cedarwood, Green Cypress Trails, that's Raspberry Green Tea there, and Warm Amber and Cedar. So I'll have to grab these just so I can have a look. On the bottom, we have a Mahogany Apple. Next to that, I believe this is, yes, Cherry Almond Shortbread. And just to the side there is... Earl Grey Tea and Mint. We also have a couple of special items featured this week beside it if you're interested. Okay, so do any of these sound like something you might be interested in? Okay, of course. So you're interested in this top row here? Okay. So I'll show you this first one. So these come in the most fantastic packaging. Starting here with coffee and whiskey. This is our foaming soap. This features bold Irish whiskey, a splash of vanilla, and a hint of coffee. It has this most beautiful, delicate, creamy colour to it. So it would pair well in most styled bathrooms or kitchens. So let me just open this for you. You may sample this at the sink on your hands if you would prefer to. It smells absolutely lovely. Smell that. What do you think? Mm -hmm. It's lovely, isn't it? It puts such a fantastic, strong emphasis on fresh coffee. This one is really going to wake you up and make you feel just energized. It has the most beautiful paired vanilla and coffee scent. I personally don't detect a lot of notes that associate with whiskey, but what do you think? Mm-hmm. Yes, I would say this is a little bit more of a coffee-scented soap. It's just a nice, true, just realistic scent. It almost feels like you are washing your hands with a vanilla-flavoured coffee. So what do you think about this one? You like this one? Fantastic. So are you looking for foaming soaps today or are you looking for gel as well? Just foaming? Okay. Let's have a look at this next one. It's the same basic styling except it has this muted pink to it. This is our bergamot and turmeric, and it's part of the collection. 
This features golden turmeric, bergamot, and fresh ginger. So let's open this one, give you a sniff of this one. So I'll let you smell this one first if you'd like to. What do you think? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I agree. This is a very lovely, refreshing scent. This has a beautiful balance of a clean, fresh scent infused with almost a little bit of lemon, and you can smell the ginger lingering throughout. And it's just a beautiful herbal freshness to this one. It's very interesting, has a lot of layers to it. It almost smells like a beautiful, crisp morning. Almost smells like the air in the morning. Just very, very refreshing. I think this one would be absolutely perfect for your kitchen. Just because of those really beautiful fresh scents, as well as those delicate herbal scents. So what do you think of this one? You like this one? Fantastic. Let me just put this one here. There we go. And you want to see the next one? Of course. So this one is in a black bottle, and this is black cherry and oud. Again, same styling of packaging with that texture there. And this one is infused with the fragrance of dark red cherries, agave drizzle, and oud wood. Let me just open this one. Beautiful, sleek packaging. This one is really, really lovely. It has a lovely, fresh, clean scent to it that pairs fantastically with that beautiful, juicy cherry scent. So this isn't cherry in the sense of a dessert. This is just a fresh cherry scent. Mm -hmm. This one isn't overpowering, and the cherry in this one just fantastically pairs with the oud, and I think this one is just lovely. This is a perfect all-year-round scent, perfect for men and women, has a fantastic unisex scent to it. I think the packaging on this one is very sleek and would suit your bathroom or your kitchen very well. What do you think? Good, great, I'm glad you like this one. This is a wonderfully unique take on that cherry scent. Cherry can be very artificial or overpowering, but this one is lovely, and soft, subtle, and gentle, and perfectly infuses itself with the other notes inside the soap. Next in the collection is this lovely one. This is basil leaf and apple. So the fragrance notes of this one are crisp apple, fresh picked basil, and morning dew. Okay. So this one is very interesting. This one is layered like the bergamot and turmeric one. There is a scent of apple, but it is layered and masked by all those fantastic herbal scents. What do you think? It's nice, isn't it? It has a beautiful, fresh scent to it. It almost reminds me of a garden. The apple's crispness is featured prominently in this one. Pardon me. Some of the soap is pouring down the side of the bottle. But the crispness of the apple does feature prominently in this one. This has a beautiful deep green colour to it. It almost reminds me of a garden green. Um, this one would probably feature quite nicely 
in your kitchen or your bathroom, depending on how you like to style either one. But the scent of this one I think is more suited for the kitchen. I tend to think that herbal scents are more suited for the kitchen and musky scents and whatnot are more suited for the bathroom. Just the most beautiful combination of scents on this one. There's almost a slight medicinal or licorice tone to this one, but it's very, very interesting. It's just a really nice way of making that classic apple scent just a little bit more interesting. You'll take this one, fantastic. There are a couple of candles that come out in the autumn time that I feel are quite reminiscent of this one. Those crisp apple notes remind me of those. And now, in this beautiful shade of brown, we have our next soap, which is Leather and Brandy. I'll just show you this one. And the fragrance notes on this one are warm leather, amber woods, and aged brandy. So I feel like this one perhaps pairs with the coffee and whiskey. I also think it's a beautiful colour combination together. So let's open this one. So this bottle is made with 50% recycled plastic. So this is a really, really lovely scent. I think that this scent would be fantastic um, as a male scent, but this could also very much be suited as a nice unisex scent. This has a beautiful fresh cologne scent to it and a lot of muskiness. None of the notes are particularly rich. They all balance with each other really, really well. But with this one, I get a beautiful lingering freshness without, throughout, as well as those woody notes. This is just very reminiscent of a lovely cologne. Just like the coffee and whiskey, however, the alcohol notes in this one are not apparent to me. But what do you think? Okay. With alcohol scents of whiskey and brandy, typically they're quite strong and rich, but this is just a really lovely men's cologne style scent. What do you think? You'll take this? Fantastic. I happen to really like those style of scents, those more musky, woodsy scents. Now the packaging on that one is just fantastic. This could suit your bathroom or your kitchen, but for the scent preference I think you could use it in both. Mm -hmm. It's not the type of scent that you can get sick of, again just because it doesn't have those really stand out notes to it. They all complement each other really well, as has the whole range. There's a general mood to each of the scents, but nothing that's striking in each one. They just create these beautiful, almost atmospheric scents. Even with the apple, even though it can be detected, it's not too much. Let's have a look at this one. So I don't actually believe that this is a new one, though this has been packaged newly recently. This is our white iris and cedar wood. Are you familiar with this? Okay, so this is one of my personal favourites. So the packaging on this one is a little bit different to the ones at the top. There's no texturing to this one, but there is this beautiful decoration here. And it seems to have some leaves on it and some gold decoration. And it says gentle and clean foaming hand soap made without sulfates, parabens, and dyes. And this is an 8.75 fluid ounce bottle. 
So this has a really lovely colour to it. And the fragrance notes of this one are iris blossoms, winter cedarwood, and glimmering snowflakes. So I'll let you smell this one now. Let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. It's nice, isn't it? It has the most lovely, flowery, comforting scent to it. I always say that this is the nicest flowery scent I have ever smelt in a soap, and it just has the most lovely fusion of those woodsy notes, clean notes, refreshing notes, and flowery notes. The star of this one is the flowery notes, but it's not in that way where sometimes your nose can be just overpowered by it, or even that slight burning that you can get in your nose sometimes. It's just effortlessly graceful and a gentle scent. It's a nice way to have something that's interesting in your kitchen or bathroom without using lots of rich strong or possibly overpowering scents. Mm -hmm. This is almost like the new clean scent or the new linen scent. It's just very gentle, refreshing, and each layer is as gentle as the next on this one. You'll take this, fantastic. This one next. Okay. So this one has closer to a gold top to it, and it has that rich green to it again, almost an olive colour, perhaps. And this one is Green Cypress Trails. So this has the gold top as mentioned, and it has some white leaves and blue leaves decorated on it. Quite simple with the packaging on this one quite elegant all the same. The fragrance notes on this one are cypress forests, eucalyptus, and chilled breeze. So this one is slightly similar to the last one, but this one has a little bit more of a cooling, refreshing scent to it, rather than that more warm, comforting scent. This one feels like it's going to wake you up in the morning. And that comes from the cypress and eucalyptus in this one, as well as the desired effect of a chilled breeze. This is a lovely, I would say, morning scent, but definitely winter into spring. Because it doesn't have a specific scent to it, and it's a little bit more of those atmospheric scents again, like these ones. This could be used in the kitchen or bathroom, and probably for all seasons, but as mentioned, um, definitely best for winter and spring. There's a slight herbalness to this. Of course, you can smell this again. Go ahead. It's nice, isn't it? It's a little bit more of a cooler, more refreshing, wake-up um, herbal scent. You like this? Fantastic. Put that there. Okay. And next is this really fun bottle. This one's see-through, and this one is our raspberry green tea. This has a little bit of a brighter green to it, with some lovely gold decorations. You want to have a look at that one up close. So the fragrance notes of this one are sweet raspberries, steeped green tea, and squeezed lemon. So on the back of this one it says it's made with vitamin E, shea extract aloe, and natural essential oils. Remove this, make sure no soap gets anywhere. So this has the most lovely raspberry and green tea scent to it. 
I mean, that is to be expected, but this one hits the mark very precisely. What do you think? Mm-hmm. This smells exactly like the combination of the freshness of green tea, but the richness of fresh raspberries. This is very elegant, but gentle at the same time. There's a juiciness to this one that is calmed down by the real scents and flavours of a raspberry, rather than the artificial version, which is a little bit more focused on the fruitiness and the sharper notes. This has a little bit more of a refreshing take on the raspberry scent. It's nice, isn't it? For this one, because of its subtlety and gentleness with a slight sharpness, sweetness and bite at the end there, I'd say that this one could work for the bathroom or the kitchen. I feel like this is a little bit more of a nice springtime scent. Um, just because it has those really fresh notes to it. But, yeah, I think this confidently could work for the kitchen or the bathroom. You like this one? Fantastic. We have a lot of green soaps, I've noticed, for this collection. This one's a little bit different. So this is our warm amber and cedar. Isn't the packaging on this one just fantastic? So it's the most gorgeous amber coppery colour to it. And the packaging colour is very accurate to that beautiful warm amber it's trying to achieve. So the fragrance notes of this one are smooth amber, evening jasmine, and cedar air. There's a little bit of texture to this one keep it interesting. And it's decorated with these lovely leaves over the bottle and all around it. So this one has a beautiful, almost caramel colour top to it. Really lovely and interesting. A real standout soap amongst the crowd here. So this one is quite Rich, not overly so. Lots of lovely fresh notes to this one with the cedar air, perfectly infusing the sense of wood and freshness together. It's being harmonized by that jasmine and amber. What do you think? Mm hmm. So, jasmine is typically quite a strong scent when it's used in products. But this one perfectly balances the rest of the scents together. It's not the standout scent, it's just that middle scent that ties the rest of them together. And it's just absolutely beautiful. This is a very nice, warm and comforting scent again. It's got that cologne style again to it. This is unisex or a men's scent. This is absolutely lovely. But it does remind me a lot of the leather and brandy. So I would say that if you like that one, then you might like this one. You do like this one, fantastic. This has such a wonderful, interesting scent to it. That muskiness turns into a flowery muskiness. It's very interesting. You want this one? Fantastic. What a beautiful bottle too. Now because that muskiness is more fresh and flowery based, you're not going to get sick of this one and it's not going to be too strong of a scent. So I would say that this would work both in the bathroom and the kitchen. And again, because it's an atmospheric scent, I would say it would work perfectly for all year round. Okay, would you like to have a look at the bottom row? Of course. So these are a little bit more food 
based scents. Starting with the mahogany apple, another lovely green bottle. You can slightly see through this one. And this one is the mahogany apple. And the fragrance notes are red mahogany woods, gold, golden delicious apple, and pink peppercorn. I love the shade of green. It's very, very interesting. Packaging on the front is quite simple, but I think it really is amplified by this beautiful, interesting shade of green. It's interesting. This has that slight crispy juiciness of an apple, but it's again paired with almost a fresh muskiness. What do you think? Mm-hmm. So this one does have a little bit of a stronger scent to it. Out of all the scents today, I would say the one with the most potential to be a little bit strong over time is probably going to be this one. This one doesn't have the same fresh, juicy approach to apple that the basil leaf and apple does. This one has a really strong, almost perfumed scent infused with the apple. Hmm, this, this scent is quite nice, but even from smelling it, I can almost taste it. Um, of course, if it's something of your preference, please definitely go ahead, but it's almost... It's almost overwhelmingly refreshing. And of course, if that is something that you would like to go for, then please by all means do so. It's not... Um, typical for you to be using foaming soaps to just smell. Of course, you'll be using them on your hands. But this one is very, very interesting. But I would definitely say it's more of a perfumed, fresh apple scent. You like this one? Fantastic. I like all the different ways that an apple scent can be changed and altered and enhanced. There's a lot of wonderful exploration that goes on with apple scents. Next is a very popular scent. And this is our Cherry Almond Shortbread. This is a little bit more of a nice food scent. The fragrance notes of this one are Vanilla Shortbread, Candied Almond and Cherry. So this is going to possibly be a little bit more dessert based. This is true to its word. It has the most beautiful buttery shortbread scent to it, paired fantastically with a strong rich candy almond and cherry and vanilla scents. There is not a lot with this one to be interpreted or explored. This is just a really rich, accurate cherry almond shortbread scent. You like this one? Fantastic. This is definitely for those who like their food or sweet or dessert based scents, just because it really encapsulates all those beautiful scents together wonderfully. This is definitely a strong scent, but not in an overpowering way. It just has the most lovely, buttery, cherry, welcoming scent to it. And with all those scents together, there is a warmth to it. And the vanilla in this one is almost creamy or caramel-like. It's absolutely lovely. You like this one? Fantastic. When it comes to food-based scents, you can really use them wherever you're happy to. But this one is just, just lovely. The final soap that we have featured is our beautiful Earl Grey Tea and Mint. This is a beautiful ocean blue. And this features 
earl grey tea, white jasmine and mint leaves. Lots of fantastic classic scents featured in this one. This has a light blue top to it and it pairs the bottle with the top with this beautiful lovely forest green. This is very, very lovely. I'll let you smell this one. Mm -hmm. So this one has a very calming scent to it. Even though there is a cooling sensation to it, it still feels very refreshing. It's very interesting. This could very easily work for the morning or the evening. This would be fantastic in your kitchen or bathroom. And I think it has its own beautiful qualities to it, but it's also one of those nice atmospheric scents. The mint in this one keeps it on that cool, refreshing side, but it has all those lovely, calming notes of jasmine and Earl Grey tea. It's just very, very lovely. I think it's for those who want a very gentle mint scent because it is calmed down by the beautiful pairing of the white jasmine and Earl Grey tea. What do you think? You like it? Fantastic. So, would you like to purchase all of them then? Fantastic! So we are also featuring two candles this week, if you'd like to have a look at them. Okay, so the first of the two is this one. This is our Cypress and Amber candle. This has that beautiful garden green to it again. Now this has a lovely, strong, warm, comforting scent to it. This features, let you smell the lid, dark cypress, smoked amber, and fresh bergamot. What do you think? Okay. So this has a very strong scent to it. The scents are very elegant, but they are very rich. Pass on this one, no problem. And the other one that we have featured this week is one of my favorites. This is Bergamo Waters. This one has a blue toned green to it. I really love this one. And it has a golden cap. What do you think of this one? It's nice, isn't it? This has a really lovely, refreshing scent to it, but an extremely juicy, lemony, citrus scent. This features sandalwood, sugared citrus, and bright bergamot. I think it just has the most lovely combination of scents. Mm -hmm. It's definitely quite strong because of the bergamot, the sandalwood, and a heavy emphasis on the sugared citrus. What do you think of this one? You'll pass on that, that's okay, no problem. All right, so would you like to have a look at any other products today? No? Okay. So I am giving you today, free of charge, this lovely hyaluronic acid hand cream. This is going to make your hands feel very smooth and soft. The lotion in this one has a really rich, luxurious feel to it. It's going to keep your hands lovely and hydrated. Of course. All right. So is that everything? Okay, great. So I will get you new versions of each of these soaps and I'll bag them up for you and I'll bring them to the front 
you can pay whenever you're ready. All right. Well, thank you so much for shopping with us here today at Bath and Body Works. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Take care. Goodbye.